I believe that with um, certain circumstances that we face in, um, uh, in modern um, tendencies of research and science and privacy, uh, there is more pressure, I would say, when it comes to science and conducting research and gathering information because it's a new field and probably not all boundaries are established well. I kind of think that does apply. Um, I've heard in the past that many people who don't treat their science ethically, is it, it's because they're chasing the limelight in scientific publications, searching for, you know, the spotlight when it comes to that. And I think universities kind of endorse it as well, because obviously they'd want it too, it's publicity for themselves. And I think universities have a responsibility to kind of step away from that want to be noticed more than, you know, having proper science. I believe, yes, university has certain responsibility because it's a large institution and has a lot of uh, fantastic, extraordinary professors and um, researchers and specialists and it provides facilities and when you provide facilities I believe it's worth establishing certain boundaries for quality assurance and uh, yeah, privacy I guess. <laughs> No, I, I especially think that's necessary um, because I've, I've worked with data and it's, it's just like if you, if you need to trust um, just on one person, we're university students, um, me especially, I want to find out myself, so maybe I want to redo what he has been done to check if his results are valid. So I, I think it should be available. I believe that the data certainly has to be made available so a uh, well-educated or a person that has general interest in the matter can check the data and come up with conclusions for himself and not just trust the conclusion of somebody else because it can easily be biased. They have to be encouraged to to publish as much as possible. Uh, the more research we make, uh, not just in the Tilburg University, not just in the Netherlands, in the world, the more knowledge we will be available for uh, the common people. So I think that uh, really, ba really good based um, research is necessary as much as, as we can. Uh, no, I don't think. I, should, I think we should look at quality. I think we should look, you can spend four or five years for one research to have a better quality instead of like short-term papers that doesn't make any sense. So I think quality is more important than the amount of publication. Uh, I think in a perfect world that would be great, but I do know that it's much more complicated than just saying someone else could test it and then you can go. Uh, I think there's much more involved than you know what's really presenting itself now things like time, effort, so I think it should be a balance between what is, you know, ethical and what is achievable. If a researcher were to take up, uh, let's say, a, re a research topic, uh, I think he or she should consider his ability, uh, his or her abilities to, to, to display data, to calculate data, and if that researcher doesn't possess these abilities or, or skills then I think she sh like he or she should maybe change the research topic but on the other hand if you say you were to leave the data to some uh, maybe other people who are more specialized in statistics uh, that could work. Depending the result that they want to have uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to uh, leave the statistics uh, analysis to a master uh, like to a person that really domain, have a domain uh, on that area.